For today's tutorial, we'll be using the Congo Junior face panel. Congo Junior and Congo Kid have the exact same layout, and Congo Senior is very similar. So taking a look at the front of our console, we've got some major areas we want to talk about. The first is most of our keypad. This is where you're going to be spending most of your time giving instructions to the board. We have our Grandmaster, our Blackout Control, and our Playback Area. The area up at the top will be used mainly for effects and moving light control. Two other areas that are really important on the front of the console are the independence area, which gives you three knobs and three buttons for special things like house lights, fog machines, anything you need direct control of, and the USB port. This allows you to save your shows right from the front of the console. And the most important key on the console is the help button. Taking a look on the master playback wing, we have our faders and buttons, which will be used to playback masters and a lot of other functions we can use later on. The entire master playback wing can be switched between three different modes. Masters, which is where we'll spend most of our time. Channels only, which remaps all of the faders to direct one-to-one -one channel control. And jam mode, which is used for live events and busking. The back of Congo Senior has two DMX ports, MIDI in and out, a contact closure trigger, a phone remote port, an audio in and out, four USB multipurpose ports, three VGA ports for monitors, and an Ethernet port 